Welcome back to Artsy Adventures, and I'm just doing a quick follow-up video to my van tour. A lot of people asked about my um, my window vents and my privacy uh, screens for the windows, so I'm just going to do a quick little close-up of what I did, and hopefully it helps. So, <laughs> so hi, welcome back. I'm doing my quick video on the window coverings. Everyone was asking questions about how we do these, so I'm going to show you really quick. Um, Hopefully you can hear okay, there's wind. So oh, let me start the car. Okay, so the window coverings. So we've just got a standard rain gutter guard. Uh, I got mine at Home Depot because you could buy them individually. You can get them on Amazon by the case. Uh, they come just as you see. I have tape added to the end to expand mine, but this is how they come. There is a track at the bottom that fits right on top of the window. So you just slot it onto the window. I put duct tape on the sides because it's my window is a little bit longer. So I just tuck the duct tape into the sides. The trickiest part is rolling the window up. Um, I do it, try to do it really slowly and it just kind of goes right up into the thing. If you do it too far, it'll bow but it's it's secure in there now that's all there is to it there's nothing needed if you have a honda or another minivan with a smaller window you may have to use a sawzall or something to cut it shorter but this is just off the shelf for the toyota sienna it fits perfectly for the privacy screens and insulation for the window this is just off the roll reflectix it's just the silver roll that um, I have an Amazon link for and to cut it a lot of people use a paper template I'm too lazy so I cut a section from the roll that was roughly the size of the window and then I actually pushed it up inside if this was the extra I push it inside the window and with a ballpoint pen I just ran it down the edge of the window for a marking and I did that all the way around and then just took it inside and cut it with scissors. I use nothing to attach it. There's no Velcro, no stickum. If you cut it um, a little bit bigger rather than smaller, it just wedges into place and it should stay all by itself. You'll see it'll wanna lift a little bit. I rarely have these fall out. Um, even my back window when I lift the tailgate usually stays in unless there's wind. So that, that's all that's needed, a roll of Reflectix and just make a little template. You can use newspaper or whatever. Like I said, I'm too lazy. So just cut it and stick it in. I use spray adhesive. I think I use the E6000 little hand pump, which was a pain, the little pump, but there's all kinds of spray adhesives. And I just cut off, um, I just sprayed it and put my fabric on it and then cut the fabric. And again, did the same with the black felt for privacy on the front windows. And that's all there is to it. Pretty easy. There's nothing, nothing special about it, but I know a lot of people had questions on more detail of these. So that's what I did.